their brothers and sisters tell it like it is. There's no telling what they're going to say or how much they're going to win. All we know for sure is they're going to tell it all today on... where brothers and sisters can win a galaxy of prizes and money, too, simply by revealing the good and the not-so-good aspects of growing up together. Let's meet our teams for today. Would you please say hello to Jenna and Jacob Johnson? And please welcome Truly and Kevin Taglieri. And a big hello to Tara and Derek Larkin. Good luck to all of you. Now, here's how we play, I'm telling. We're going to ask each of our players about their brothers' or sisters' habits, their likes, their dislikes, and their experiences. And maybe we'll even reveal a hidden secret or two. We'll record their answers after we magically teleport their brother or sister to our isolation zone. When we teleport them back, we'll ask them the same questions. Now, if they match, they'll earn points, and whoever has the most points at the end of two rounds will go on to our Pick a Prize Arcade, where they could wind up taking home every single single prize on the stage. All right, round one focuses on the girls telling all about their brothers. So guys, time to teleport you to the isolation zone. Ooh, we made your brothers go bye-bye. The first question is for the girls and it's worth 25 points. And Jenna, you're going to select one of three categories for the first question using your random selector. And here come your categories. More or less, what a guy, and a dirty question. We're going to set them in motion. And whenever you're ready, hit your selector, and that'll randomly select the category. What a guy is the category for 25 points, Jenna. Approximately how many bad habits would you say your brother has? None, about five, or at least ten. At least ten. Uh-huh. I mean, every single thing he does, it has to be a bad habit. He's one of those guys has a lot of bad habits. Okay, truly. Well, I could say about five. About five. Yeah, he's not that bad. Not that bad, not that good. Okay, Tara. I'd say about five, too. He's pretty good. He's a lot better than I am. <laughs> okay. Truly, this next question's for you. It's worth 50 points, and you get to select the category this time. They are Home of the Brave, Looking Good, and Big Phony. We're going to set them in motion whenever you're ready. Hit your selector button. Big Phony for 50 points. Who talks longer on the phone, you or your brother? I can say I do. Oh, you admit to that, do you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tara. I talk all day. He doesn't even talk barely at all, so it's definitely me. Oh, if you're on the phone all day, he probably doesn't get a chance. Jenna. It, it has to be me, because I'm always on the phone. I mean, he never once talks on the phone. So it's you. All right, Tara, this question's for you, and you get to select a category this time. Let's take a look at it. Making the grade. All washed up. And dining details. Let's set them in motion. Making the grade for 75 points, Tara. In his whole life, how many Fs has your brother ever gotten on his report card? None. He's straight A. Straight A guy. Never an F. Good for him. Jonna. None. None. Never gotten an F either. Truly. Mmm. <laughs> Got a carrot. Um. <laughs> you need to borrow some fingers? <laughs> Probably about five. About five. Okay. We've recorded the girls' answers and we'll bring back their brothers in just a minute to see how well they actually do know them. Teleport the brothers back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. Oh, 
welcome back, guys. You're still glowing. The first question is worth 25 points, and the category selected is What a Guy. And, Jacob, this question's for you. Approximately how many bad habits would you say you have? None, about five, or at least ten? Uh, ten because, um... I don't pick up my room or I don't clean anything around the house. So you'd say at least ten. Let's see what your sister said. She said at least ten, and that's a match for 25 points. Good going. Kevin, none about five or at least ten? At least ten. At least ten. I never do work or oh, I have some off when I play, and she can always go play because she has to do work. So you'd say at least ten. Let's see what your sister said. She said about five. She thinks you're better than you are. I said ten. Go <laughs> yourself. Come on. Derek, how about you? None about five or at least ten? I'd say probably about five because I have, like, I chew my nails sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do some things. So I'd say about five. About five. Tara said... About five. About five. All right, that's the match, and it's good for 25 points. Way to go. Okay, Kevin, this next question is for you, and the category selected was Big Phony, and it's worth 50 points. Here's your question. Who talks longer on the phone, you or your sister? She does. She does? <laughs> she said... Then she does. Yeah, That's yeah. the match. 50 points. Way to go. Derek. Derek, who talks longer on the phone? I'd say she does because she's, her friends are always calling her and then she stays on, I don't know, about like 20 minutes sometimes. Wow. Or maybe less. But I'd say she does. She does. Tara said... The Cheetahs! All right, that's another match. 50 points. Way to go. Hi, Jacob. Who talks longer on the phone? Uh, my sister. My, um, she was in a play one time, and then she called a friend. She had to tell her that she was in it. Just had to tell her, huh? <laughs> Couldn't keep it to herself. Let's see what she said. She said the Cheetahs, and that's the match. All right. Derek, this is the final question of the round, and it's worth 75 points. The category selected was making the grade. Here's your question. In your whole life, Derek, how many Fs have you ever gotten on your report card? None, because they usually get straight A's. Wow. Tara said none. That's a match. Straight A's pay off again. All right. Jacob, how many Fs have you gotten in your whole life? None. Um... Um, I'm, I'm doing a phonics paper, uh -huh. and then I got um, three wrong and plus on the other side. And my teacher said that was pretty good. Pretty good. So you've never gotten any Fs. Janice said, none. That's right. That's the match. 75 points. Kevin, in your whole life, how many Fs have you ever gotten on your report card? None. None. Your sister said, about five. Was she looking at a different report card? Have think about it. You think about yourself. Okay, we'll look over those report cards later. At the end of round one, the score is Truly and Kevin with 50 points, Jenna and Jacob with 150 points, and Tara and Derek with 150 points. For round two, the tables are turned as we learn all about the girls from their brothers. Oh, your sister disappeared. Okay, the first question will be for the guys, and it's worth 50 points. And like their sisters, they're going to select the category for each question. Jacob, you're first. Here's your categories. Let's take a look at them. Kiss and tell. Forgive and forget. Yours or mine. We're going to set them in motion whenever you're ready, Jacob. Hit that selector. Go ahead. Yours or mine. If you lent your sister $5, how long would it probably take her to pay you back? About a week, about a month, or probably never. About a week. About a week. How about your sister? Probably about a week, because she's always nice to me most of the time. Okay, Derek. 
I'd say about a week, because she's pretty responsible. Kevin, this next question's for you. It's worth 75 points. And let's take a look at the categories you get to choose from. Bathing beauty. Ups and downs. In the driver's seat. We're going to put him in motion whenever you're ready. Hit that selector, Kevin. <laughs> Bathing beauties. In your opinion, does your sister look better in a one-piece bathing suit or in a bikini? One-piece bathing suit. Uh-huh. One-piece bathing suit. One-piece bathing suit. Why? Just... Because, oh, because she looks longer, not shorter. She looks longer, not shorter. Derek, how about your sister? I'd say probably a one-piece bathing suit because she... Well, she would look just look better in it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jacob. A one-piece bathing suit, because when she wears a bikini, she looks fat. Okay. <laughs> You're brave to say that, Jacob. All right. Derek, this is the third and final question. It's for you. It's worth 150 points. And you get to select the category. This time, let's take a look at them. Zoo who? For the boys. And big, bigger, biggest. We're going to set him in motion whenever you're ready, Derek. Hit that selector. Hit it again, hit it again. Oh, one more time, one more time. Okay, got it to work. Big, bigger, and biggest. Derek, fill in the missing word. When it comes to my sister's body, she has the biggest blank in the world. Uh, I'd probably say about maybe the biggest waist because she said she's going to go on a diet because cause her, she's real big right here. Okay, right. well, we'll find out. Jacob, you fill in that blank. Face. Biggest face in the world. Good enough. Kevin. Mm, the biggest brain. The biggest brain in the world. She's going to be very glad you said that, Kevin. Okay, we've recorded the answers, and in a few seconds, we're going to teleport their sisters back and find out who's going to go on to play our Pick a Prize Arcade. We've recorded the guys' answers, and it's time now to teleport their sisters back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. Okay, Jana, you get to uh, answer this first question. It's worth 50 points. Jana, if your brother lent you $5, how long would it probably take you to pay him back? A week? A month? Or would you never pay him back? Probably never. <laughs> never pay him back. Jacob said, yeah. about a week. You'd never Why would pay you him say back? something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Um, I, he'll probably say a week, because I, I babysit a lot. Uh, so, so. A, a week, a month, or? A week. A week. Your brother said? A yeah! Week. yeah. That's a match. 50 points. All right. Tara? Probably never, because I'm so bad. I mean, I have enough money, but I'm so bad about paying things back. I never remember. I know it'll just, I'll never pay him back. Well, let's see what Derek said. He said about a week. He thinks you got a better memory than you said. You know how, like, with Mom, she's always, like, lending me money, and she's always getting mad because I'm never paying her back. And remember, I owed you, like, some money, and it took me forever to pay you back. It was probably so long that he forgot well, about it. Okay, truly, this next question for you, the category selected is bathing beauty, and it's worth 75 points, truly. <laughs> She looks scared already. Truly, do you look better in a bikini or a one-piece bathing suit? What do you think Kevin said? Uh, he'll probably say a one-piece. And Kevin said... A one-piece! Yeah! That's a match for 75 points. Tara, what do you think Derek said? Oh, no. Um... Well, I usually, I don't usually wear two pieces because I like to go to the beach a lot. And I don't like wearing two pieces because they usually fall off. <laughs> and, uh, that's a problem. And so I um, like to wear one pieces, and that's really what he's only seen me in. I have a two piece this summer, but he probably said one piece. Let's see what he did say. Yeah! He said a one piece. That's a match for 75 points. 
Jenna, what do you think Jacob said? A one-piece, because I, like, never wear a two-piece. So he probably said a one-piece. Let's see what he did say. He said a one-piece, and that's a match for 75 points. All right. Here's the final question, and the category is Big, Bigger, Biggest. Now, remember, this question is worth 150 points, so it's still anybody's game. We have Truly and Kevin with 175 points, and Jana and Jacob with 225 points, and Tara and Derek with 225 points. Okay, we're going to start with you, Truly. We asked your brother to fill in the missing word in this sentence. When it comes to my sister's body, she has the biggest blank in the world. What do you think he said? Uh, <laughs> legs? <laughs> legs, Kevin said. Wow. The biggest brain. He thinks you're smart. You are smart. Oh. He is almost in everything. Okay, Tara. To move into first place. Oh. What do you think Derek said? He probably said but. <laughs> he probably said but. Let's see what he did say. The biggest waste. Hmm. Oh, going on the diet and you said like you're Well, big... that's because it's like too big to... You shouldn't be talking about that anyway. <laughs> you really think she has the biggest waist, Derek? Yes. Derek, the waist isn't that big. It's, it's just below the waist. <laughs> Jana, now if you get this right, you move into undisputed first place. This is for the game, Jana. When it comes to my sister's body, she has the biggest blank in the world. What do you think Jacob said? Probably mouth, because, I mean, I'm always yabba-jabbing to him, doing, telling him what to do and everything. And Jacob said... The biggest face. What? Hey, you guys. That means we have a tie. We have a tie between Janet and Jacob and Tara and Derek. Now, just before the show, we filled our I'm Telling Fun Box with oranges and then asked each of our teams to guess how many there are actually in each box. Now, we've counted them, and the correct number is in this envelope that I have right here. Now, whoever comes closest without going over will be our big winner. Okay, Jenna and Jacob, how many did you guess? You have the envelope in the box next to you. Take it out and show it to everybody. You guessed 74. Tara and Derek, pull out your envelope. See what you guessed. 144. And the correct answer is 126. 74, you didn't go over. Jenna and Jacob, you're our winner! Kids, for playing I'm Telling, each of you will receive one of these 10-speed bicycles, replicas of the bikes the pros use. And you'll also receive the exciting home version of I'm Telling to enjoy. Thanks, Dean. We'll be right back with Jenna and Jacob in our fabulous Pick a Prize Arcade. We're back with Jenna and Jacob here at the Pick a Prize Arcade. Why don't you guys go take a look at some of these prizes? And they can all be yours. This is how it works. We've got 10 boys' prizes and 10 girls' prizes. Now, before the show, each of you picked the six you thought your brother or sister would like best. Now, both of you are going to run through the arcade and pick six prizes each. Hey, wait a minute for me. You'll keep every prize you match. If you match a total of 10 prizes, you'll win all 20. Now, Jana, you pick six from the pink platforms, and Jacob, you pick six from the yellow platforms. Now we're going to show the home audience the six prizes your brother thinks you're going to select, Jana. All right, you've seen, they've seen them at home. Now remember, Jana, you can only pick six, so get on your mark right here. Get set and go! Queen Mary! The Queen Mary! Keep picking, keep picking, you got more! The keyboard is yours! Keep going. Telephone! The telephone is yours! Home stereo! Home stereo system is yours! Jenna, you did great! You picked six prizes and you matched on four. Now, Jacob, it's your turn to get as many as you possibly can. Remember, if the two of you get a total of ten, you take home all twenty prizes. 
Now we're going to show the home audience the six prizes your sister thinks you're going to select. All right. Okay, now they've seen them at home. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go, Jacob! Magic Mountains, yes! You get another one? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Congratulations, you guys got eight prizes. That's great. Let's go and take a look at your prizes. Come on. Meanwhile, Dean is going to tell you how you did today. Jacob and Jenna, on top of the $1,000 savings bond, you've also won eight fabulous prizes, including the VHS recorder, the cassette recorder, and the Magic Mountain Party, along with the electronic keyboard. Now, get on your feet and get ready to groove with the hottest young stars on the new generation. And thanks to the kids from Paragon Cable in Minnesota, you all did a fantastic job. Be watching tomorrow for more kids from across the country right here on Fun Time.